This just in. The Ku Klux Klan is endorsing the Obama health care plan. Why? To lower crime and to save money. Oh, yes. Listen to the figures because figures don't lie. 25% of all black young men are either in jail, in prison, on parole, or on probation. Why? Because they're criminals. And why is it that so many of them are criminals? Well, many studies have shown that it's because they grow up in families without a dad. They're part of the welfare plantation brought to you by President Johnson and every president since. That's right. So these young black men grow up many times in a fatherless home. They find their affinity. They find their male role models where? In gangs. And what do gangs do? They beat you up. They pull a knife on you. They pull a gun on you. They rob you. And so the Ku Klux Klan is endorsing the Obama health care plan. Why? Dead babies. Kill early kill often, lower the prisoner population, cut crime and save money. Let me explain to you how it works. If a dead baby is dead, it costs you about 400 bucks to kill that baby. That baby stands a good chance if it's born in a minority home to grow up and to become a criminal. What's going to happen? Well, while the child is growing, you're going to spend tons of money on all that health care. Then when the baby grows up, you know what's going to happen. Chances are he's going to pull a knife on you. Some of them are going to get caught. And what's going to happen then? To prison. Who foots that bill? You do. So why spend tens, maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars on health care, food stamps, and then prison for that young child when for $400 in the Obama health care plan, you can put his miserable little life to an end. Now, in case you wonder about these numbers, did you know? Black women comprise about 12% of the U.S. population, but they have about 32 or 33% of all abortions. One in three babies killed in America is a black baby, but that's not enough for the Ku Klux Klan and for President Obama. We need those numbers to go up, 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 because right now, almost two thirds of black babies are born to women who are not married. We've got to reduce those numbers, says Obama and the Ku Klux Klan. Reducing those numbers of live births will save money over the long haul and cut crime. So if you're a true racist and if you want to save money through the Obama health care plan, you've got to support Obama's and Pelosi's and Reed's health care agenda. It's a way to save money and to cut crime and have the streets of America be a safer place to live. What do you think? What do you think? This brought to you by the dark side. Now, for those of you who aren't quite smart enough to figure it out, it's parody based in reality. Yes. Oh, he's a racist. He must be a racist. No, I'm actually not. I think that Obama might be. I think that those who are promoting child killing, like Ginsburg, when she did that little interview in the New York Times a few weeks ago, yeah, said that she thought it would help get rid of some unwanted people. Uh, I think they're racists. I'm not. I'm just pointing out the obvious with a little tongue-in-cheek humor. And if it makes you really sad or it makes you really angry, well, then perhaps you need to look in the mirror and say, what's wrong with me and my worldview? that I believe in killing innocent people. And now he's mocking me for it. So, do yourself a favor. Stop supporting the murder of babies. Stop promoting ge black genocide. Stop pushing an agenda where you expect us, who love and fear God and who love life, to pay for murder. Because we will not go along with you.